Hi everyone, today let's talk about my trading plan for the upcoming week. There are a few points that I do want to mention about the Ukraine war. Then of course we'll go through the major indices starting with the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and then for me one of my major plays which is AMD. And then I do want to briefly talk about ARK Invest as this is the ETF that I watch for high growth stocks. If you like trading stocks and options and making money, definitely like and subscribe. I make videos like this as well as whole portfolio overviews every single week, so make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Welcome to the Portfolio Bulletin. Let's get started. So Ukrainian general says the war might be over by year end, but Russia is still saying that they might get more aggressive. He says he believes the war could be over and that there should be a breaking point somewhere in the second part of August, and hopefully most active fighting has finished by year end. They also mentioned the Ukrainian resistance has made significant territorial gains, pushing Russian forces away from Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city. Obviously, this would be great for the markets if this war ended, which should decrease some uncertainty in the markets and hopefully improve the supply chain issues that are affecting the globe, which subsequently should decrease inflation, which potentially would allow Jay Powell to pull back on the reins and not increase rates so quickly. Moving over here to the NASDAQ, you can see we've been basically on a tear downwards ever since we had the Fed comments on 4 May. And since then, we collapsed basically from 324 down to 285, where we just barely touched that 285 level and then bounced right back above the $300 level, which was a pretty substantial support and resistance line going back to March of 2021. And I wondered if it was going to hold and it ended up holding on the weekly chart, even though we had some significant breakthroughs here on the daily chart, we then finished up above it to close out the week, which in my opinion means that this is going to break up into this next section, probably find some resistance around that 330, around that 325 to 330 level before breaking back down to retest that $300 level, as well as this next level of support which has been guiding the markets here for at least a couple of months. So again, restate, bouncing back up to around 330, retesting 300, and hopefully that support level holds, maybe coming back into that 315 level, but still continuing this pretty consistent downtrend as we shape out the new support and resistance lines for this downtrend. Moving over here to the SPY, basically a similar pattern. You can see it's a little bit stronger. This is that downward momentum that we saw on the NASDAQ and that first trend line that we had. And so far, the SPY is still holding up. Pretty overextended here to the downside. And you could certainly trade a rally up to 415, maybe 430 if you're feeling a little bullish. But then I would expect another retracement back down, at least retesting this $400 level. Moving over to AMD, this is one of my favorite stock. If you want to see my earnings report, definitely check out my last video on AMD because they crushed it. And you can see the stock is doing very well. It's definitely been downtrending along with the rest of the market. But over the past couple of days, it's been pretty flat compared to the NASDAQ, which was moving downwards very quickly. We had that big spike down here on 12 May to $85. And then we pushed all the way back up to $96 at one point before settling back down around $95. There's certainly some resistance right where we are right now. I could definitely see a break through this, a retest and a continuation, maybe back up to this 114 level. If the rest of the markets rally like I expect them to over the next few days, that's what I would be looking for. A movement into this 105 level and a retest of that 55 EMA on the daily chart, retest back down here, potentially at that same level, $95, and then a movement back up to 114 or so. After that, could go either way, but I do expect some short-term bullish action especially after the rally we saw to close out the week. Lastly here, looking at ARK or ARK-K, on the weekly chart, you can see it's been a massive down move, huge percentage at almost 80% down, 77.5% down to the lows, where it touched that $35 level, which was previously support here in October of 17, again in December of 18, retested here for COVID, $35, for the stock rallied all the way up to $158, super aggressive, before retesting those COVID lows back here on 9 May, back here on the weekly chart for 9 May. Moving over to the one day chart, you can see a little bit better what that looks like. Moving down very quickly to that level, touched it, had a pretty solid green day on the 12th, canceling out most of the 11th, and then rallied back up to that 9 EMA on the 13th, back up to $43.60. Hopefully this is a nice strong support level. There's certainly potential we could see a double dip here, making a double bottom, 
that would be a nice confirmation and a nice entry point and potentially a move back up to that next resistance line, which I would put closer to around $55 right here at this break, or potentially the lows here at $52, which also was retested here on 5 May, which would be some decent upside, especially if we got a good entry down here at $35. Of course, this is still a pretty strong downtrend, so be careful being a little bit bullish here, but certainly seems like we are overextended to the downside, and growth is due for at least a relief rally. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the Ukrainian conflict or just videos like this in general. I think I might make this a pretty consistent weekly video. I've been really enjoying watching other people's content. It helps with the technical analysis and seeing other people's perspective on the markets. But my perspective is a little bit different. And as I mentioned, I might do this consistently. So let me know down in the comments if you like this kind of content. And definitely like and subscribe if you got any value out of this video. And so you can keep up with my future videos. Make sure you hit the bell before you go. Of course, none of this is financial advice. This is all for entertainment purposes and have a great day.